This weekend, you can check out Lady Gaga, Elton John, Barbara Streisand, and a bunch of other famous faces live on stage right here in San Diego. Sort of. <laughs> sort of, although very close. The Edwards twins, world famous impersonators, are bringing their live show to the California Center for the Performing Arts tomorrow. I hopped on a Zoom call with them early this morning for a sneak peek. Eddie Edwards, identical twin brothers and professional impersonators. How in the world did you learn to get so good at this? It's a gift. And we just had the uncanny ability when we were younger to mimic everybody and to do it really well. When I'm watching the clip of your show, I mean, you have to be in and out of full costumes, full makeup the entire time. How long does it take to transform into each character? Five minutes. I have to literally change my face to go from Bette Midler to Cher and then from Cher to Barbra Streisand in five minutes because he's only on stage for 10 minutes and then I have to put on my costume. I have to do my wig, etc. cetera. Yeah. Do you have a team of people who are like assembling no, no, you? No, 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 no. It's, we do everything ourselves. We have one assistant the only thing that she does is zip us up. That's it. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. like you're in the local news business doing yeah. all this stuff yourself. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's absolutely, you know, as, as we say, have drag will travel. <laughs> Getting by, it's all taken and no given. Well, you are impersonating so many famous faces. Do you have a favorite? You know, for me, I would have to say it was Barbara Streisand uh, because that literally took me 10 years to literally learn both the voice and the look. And for me, I would say because he just saw me uh, and, uh, or actually didn't see me, but he actually heard me, uh, was Andrea Bocelli. To be able to pull off Bocelli is extremely difficult as a vocal impressionist because you gotta be a really good singer. You gotta really have your chops. Anthony, in a twist, you actually went through and graduated from the San Diego Police Department's Police Academy back in the 90s. What was that like for you? I wanted to be a police officer so bad. I was only like probably half of my class that graduated, only half graduated, because it's a very difficult. But let me tell you, it was the best time of my life. And I remember all my training officers and sergeants and all that stuff. And I absolutely loved it. It just happened to be once I graduated, I was just about ready to get sworn in because I had passed the test and uh, decided to go into entertainment uh, full time. I understand that this is a show for everybody, a wide audience, even families can come. It's just great to be able to have all sorts of different type of people come to see the show, family, and you know, whether you're conservative uh, or, uh, or not, uh, everybody is gonna absolutely love the show and be amazed. It will be the best show that people will ever, ever see. I love you, baby.